Hey guys, this is Rick. A little while back when the discussion was really hot about it, I was asked to comment on app group, the suggested new app code for Bitcoin Cash. I didn't have so much to comment from a technical standpoint, there were a lot of people doing that already, but I do have a lot of experience in community building, and I think my experience from that particular angle is quite pertinent here so i'm going to share a little bit of per what permissionlessness really means and how important it is to keep this in mind op group was an example of when this thinking would have been more needed so let's take a look at this obsession with permission most people think they are acting completely permissionlessly and yet this is so ingrained in most people's behavior that most don't realize just how permissionless behavior really looks and this is how we come back to the op group debate You'll remember when I published this Bitcoin Cash manifesto just as the community was launching and I boldly said that I was the CEO of Bitcoin Cash and <laughs> you know old media such as Russia Today even had my face there with CEO of Bitcoin Cash under it with an interview that uh, as of now has over half a million views and it was like how could I proclaim myself CEO of an organization that doesn't even exist. And this was my way of showing by doing what permissionlessness looks like. This was my way to reinforce, to really reinforce the idea that nobody gets to tell you what to do. Because you remember now, how did Bitcoin Cash came to be in the first place? How did it come to be in the first place? How, would it, how was it created? While everybody else was asking for some kind of permission. From miners reaching a certain Nakamoto threshold consensus level. From each other trying to negotiate, agree on things between teams. And even from Bitcoin BTC, we should have 20 megabytes. No, we should have one. We should have, okay, we, maybe we should have eight. No, one. Two? No, one. Amaroui Sichet just did. He just wrote Bitcoin ABC, published it and said, hey, I did this. That's what permissionlessness looks like. That's what it looks like. And this is a rabbit hole that goes so deep, most people still have not figured it out. T let's go back to this op group debate. You know, in my CEO manifesto, I draw, I didn't write it out, but I was drawing heavily on a quote from Ayn Rand which I think is very, very relevant and which I think a lot of people should bear more in mind when doing this. Not just Bitcoin Cash, but anything internet related. That quote is, the question is not who's going to let me. The question is who's going to stop me. This mindset is absolutely key. This mindset is absolutely key. In my CEO manifesto, I wrote of two freedoms. Everybody has two freedoms. Everybody has the freedom of initiative and the freedom to follow other people's initiatives. This means that your freedom, freedoms, only extend as far as where the other people's freedoms begin. You're free to take any initiative. 
you're free to follow any initiative of that those of others you are not free to coerce other people you're not free to say what they must or must not do this is crucial in the concept of permissionlessness there's no approval there's no such thing as getting approved there's no deadline do this by that time and everything will work on a process this it works like that in academia you're submitting a paper by a certain deadline which brings us back to op group because there's no such thing as a checklist was fulfilled by this particular date so my feature is sure to make it into the next release and why isn't it that why isn't it because in particular other people's freedom to follow your initiative is a positive right it is a positive right that means you have every opportunity and every right to make them comfortable in following you but and this is the big but and this is where many people g sort of lose their way you don't get to make them uncomfortable for not following you for that denies them agency that is denying their freedom to follow of their own will so in these upgrade cycles and op group uh, or whatever feature we might run into in into the future i saw this idea of campaigning for features to be included that's not how permissionlessness works you're you you do not get to tell other people what to think what to do you make them you include them you make them comfortable if people are not comfortable following an initiative then that's it you can't make them and you don't get to make them in a permissionlessness environment in a permissionless environment so summing this up a positive contribution means that you make people comfortable following your initiative if you're doing the reverse then you're making a negative contribution to the community people should not follow an initiative because it's the path of least resistance because you are throwing rocks in their way when you're when they're doing what they want instead of what you want people's agency is absolutely key to making permissionlessness work absolutely key and these are the two freedoms so this is a soft issue this is a soft issue as in what if i can't but if i can't send in my feature for review by the deadline the community has agreed on and get it included how do i get it included well that's the thing this is not where hard rules are set because this is permissionless environment this is not academia where you submit a paper by a deadline and get it gra graded by a professor this is a community where in general a community f is forming with people sort of following each other in the same general kind of direction and this is hard this is hard this takes a lot of trust this takes a lot of wishy-washy feeling if you like but you can't apply pressure to make somebody follow if they are not doing so voluntarily at the end of the day this is about letting people do what they want of their own free will you can help them want something but put, putting pressure on them to want something becomes a negative contribution so i'd like what just happened 
which came out okay, which came out okay. I'd like this to be a learning experience for the community and bear this quote from Ayn Rand in mind. The question isn't who's going to let me, the question is who's going to stop me. Because, and this is the one key point from this presentation, if you need somebody to give you permission, you're doing it wrong.